hello everyone and welcome to today's video so this is one of my most asked questions on youtube instagram during a consultation session i get this question a lot which is what platforms can you source goods from china on where can you buy your goods from what is the best platform to use so in this video i'm going to be telling you my top three best platforms that you can use to source goods from china i know there are other platforms as well but these are the major ones that I've used in the past and of course I can say okay you can actually get good products from this platform <laughs> also stay tuned to the end of this video because I'll also be letting you know which of them is my absolute favorite and which one is my least favorite although still good but my least favorite for some reasons which I would also mention in this video so let's get right into it all right so the first platform we're going to be discussing about is aliexpress yes aliexpress.com aliexpress is one of those beginner friendly platforms where you can, you can shop for goods from china in also these are some pros of aliexpress one it has a huge variety of goods it has a huge variety of products you can see one particular product in different colors in different designs makes you makes you have that if you're someone that likes you know having options aliexpress is the best go-to platform for you also aliexpress allows you to shop as a retailer you if you want to buy few quantities maybe five pieces you know or very few quantities you can shop from aliexpress because they are retail friendly let me use that word so you can get a sample first um, take a look at it if it's something you like you can order for more at very reasonable prices and as well if you're lucky enough you could also get free delivery yes free delivery from china to nigeria or to wherever you are based in basically they offer free delivery for some items so mind you those are light items you can get them from free delivery also if you want to get a sample the price isn't so expensive because like i said it's a retail platform so you can buy these items easily conveniently so this is very good for small business owners you know startups so you know it helps you to get your feet wet a bit so the aliexpress these are some pros of shopping from aliexpress as well you have buyer protection so say for example um your goods didn't arrive at a particular time you can always ask for a refund on aliexpress so they are always um that they, they are willing to be, to give you that refund or say for example you had already um bought a good for example i've had instances where i've already bought an item paid for it you know they say okay other um, process and i'm like oh, okay i don't think i want this good again as far as you it, it, it gives you a timeline to quickly get a refund back because you know there's a buyer protection so aliexpress can easily refund you if you do not want a particular good again but mind you there's a time frame for that as well and as well it's you are less likely to get scammed you're, mind you i don't say 100 percent you are less likely to get scammed because of this buyer protection and as well you can also ask for refunds or report a, a, a report a particular issue basically that whole idea of buyer protection makes it one of the one of the one one of the safest platform basically to shop for that so basically like a middleman that's ensuring that both parties are happy from the buyers to to the sellers as well so it ensures that there is peace on the platform basically so aliexpress is one of uh, one of the uh, good platforms of course with every other shopping platforms you cannot be very certain about the quality so that's why it's also advisable to buy one or two pieces to see the quality before you go ahead to buy some so you cannot always be sure about the quality so this is something to also take note of when shopping from aliexpress so what you can do for that case is that you can read the reviews read reviews read pictures and look at pictures rather right of, of 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 people that bought items because people leave reviews on on the on the product page so you can look at the reviews to see what they are like if you if you get good reviews then fine go ahead if not you have to look for a different product or a different supplier for that product also um the shipping time can vary so you could have long shipping time short shipping time it's of course it's not something that can be as quick as you know other platforms like maybe amazon or all these other easily go to the store pick up your item of course not because it's from china so the shipping time can be a bit long at least the minimum two weeks there yeah, about if you're shipping to nigeria minimum at, at least two weeks basically but it could also be longer than that communication with the sellers now aliexpress they like to have their communication on their platform so like i mentioned earlier it helps to settle disputes so they like to have um their communications on their platform that could also that could also count as a pro as well as a con communication with buyers can be a bit challenging as well and also because they have the, the time difference is different for china and nigeria so basically you have to be up at night if you're shopping from um, nigeria to be able to you know communicate with your chinese suppliers because their time difference is 
like different from all of us aliexpress this is a pro actually aliexpress they like to have their conversation on their platform you say okay let us go to wechat or whatsapp they give you a strike like no <laughs> do not go anywhere stay on this platform so it's also um good for buyer protection as well so in case of anything you can always easily refer to that as evidence you know of what's happening although i've never really had an issue of a dispute or you know or oh, um, my goods not arriving. I've never had that instance. Well, people have said they've had instances like that. But this also goes back to doing your due diligence as well, to making sure wherever you're purchasing from has a good track record. So you can be very sure that yes, you are you are working with the right set of people. Now over to the next platform, Alibaba. This is one of people's favorite, you know, platforms to buy from. Reason because their price is quite cheaper compared to aliexpress now the thing about alibaba is that alibaba deals majorly with business to business aliexpress does business to individuals when i say business to business i mean for people that have businesses people that you know want to bring it in containers you know in large quantities alibaba is the best go-to place because they give you a reduced price they give you at wholesale price not a retail price a wholesale price so people love alibaba for that for that pricing and as well you can easily get your products customized so they can customize it for you at a reasonable price as well alibaba you know the suppliers on the on the alibaba platform can handle that for you especially if you need large quantities this is your go-to place for alibaba and also on alibaba you get a a a large access to you know suppliers to manufacturers or like aliexpress aliexpress are major people that probably bought from alibaba to come and sell on aliexpress or sometimes you can you can get suppliers on aliexpress but alibaba that is where you majorly find the den of suppliers and manufacturers and it's where most people also buy their goods from in large quantities from alibaba so you can also check that out if you're someone that's looking into buying large products or you want to start a business a wholesale you want to order items in wholesale you want to customize your items you can look at alibaba for that type of um for that type of order now the cons about alibaba is this you this they do not encourage retail quantity they do not encourage one quantity one item basically i think the minimum you can get for most items is from 50 upward however if you want to get a sample piece it's possible you can get a sample piece but the price is going to be more costly I hope this price is quite high compared to you know uh uh um, buying the wholesale price so they won't give you the same price obviously if you want to get a sample and then if you want to get it in larger quantities do you understand so well it's still something that you should you is this something that you can consider because imagine buying hundreds or thousands of items and you end up in a situation of what i or the adverse what i got i'm sure we won't want that so this is something to also consider another um call of shopping from alibaba is you are more likely to get scammed on alibaba if you do not do your due diligence properly if you don't carry your due diligence properly there's, there's a high chance of getting scammed so you have to ensure you do your due diligence so you do not have issues of oh i did not get my goods or oh this happened or oh that happened so this is something you have to be sure of it's quite complex i would say compared to aliexpress because with aliexpress it's like they already handle your shipping for you they um, already connect you to um to people that are going to deliver it even to your doorstep aliexpress and um, shopping from aliexpress you can get your goods delivered to your doorstep but with alibaba you have to look for source for reliable um, logistics company that can bring it for you from china to nigeria or china to wherever whatever um part of the world you're in basically because if they end up using their own logistics company you may end up paying through your nose because the price is going to be ridiculously high so this is something else to consider in terms of sourcing for good uh logistics company to help send your goods from uh from from china to nigeria so it can be quite complex for beginners because it's, it's a process basically so this is one other con of 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 alibaba as well. now to the final platform that i'm going to question about which is 1688 now so basically 1688 is a domestic chinese platform so it's it's a chinese platform majorly it's a <laughs> it's a chinese platform that was designed for chinese uh suppliers as well for people to order in china so basically their price is going to be reduced they, they give it at a reduced price a much reduced price compared to aliexpress and alibaba on 16 you get a lot of unique beautiful items from 1688 so these are some pros of using 1688 for your pros of using sixty eight eight for your you know for your sourcing of products for buying of goods in large quantities so one of the cons of 1688 is that it is a chinese platform so 
when you get on the on the on the platform on the website you realize that everything is in chinese so not to worry there are tools that can be used to translate this chinese to english although it's a process but still that's one of the things you have to deal with when shopping on 1688 care of quality assurance as well because so you don't end up like i had mentioned buying what i what i ordered versus what i got basically chinese platform because like i mentioned they deal majorly in wholesale so the area of quality assurance is something that you need to also key factor into when trying to make a purchase from 1688 so you don't end up buying thousands of items and it's not what you wanted as well these are areas to consider when shopping from 1688 from 1688 also in terms of international shipping it can be quite complex as well because it's wholesale it's wholesale so you need to have a reliable logistics company a reliable reliable agent so people use agents that can help ship those products from china to your country or to your location basically so now these are all the three these are the three top platforms for shopping of your goods basically from china so ultimately all these platforms are very good platforms but at the end of the day it depends on what you want to do are you a retailer or someone that wants to buy in large quantities or small quantities or someone that just wants to buy a sample so these platforms can serve you based on what you want the platforms to do so like i had mentioned out of all these platforms <laughs> i'm sure some of you have already guessed which of the platform is my is my all-time favorite so yeah my all-time favorite from all this platform is definitely aliexpress because it is so beginner friendly you get a wide range of variety you can you can know order in you can order them in very little quantity to ensure like it is actually what it looks like in the pictures as well and it's you know there's buyer protection so i love aliexpress for that and my least favorite has to be 1688 i'm sure most people are going to be like what because 1688 is actually the cheapest compared to alibaba and aliexpress but i have issues with um, having to you know translate from china to to english and all of that although it's not so for some people it's not much of an issue you understand but this is just my preference i also love alibaba alibaba is brilliant for people that want to buy in wholesale so at the end of the day decide what works best for you and go for it and everybody be happy so if you have any questions leave your um leave your questions in the comment section and of course i will answer it on my youtube shorts so if you have any questions leave your questions down below and thank you for sticking me to the end of this video if you found this video helpful please do leave a like button subscribe and you can also share the video and